So do you want to mention uh, who you are and where you're from? Sure. I'm Paul Ritaco. I'm from Washington, D.C. And right now I am volunteering with uh, World Central Kitchen. And we are the only group right now that is providing hot food at every single border checkpoint in Poland, Romania, Moldova. I mean, you name it, we're, we're there. And we're in Lviv as well. And so it's, it's, been, a big, it's been a big deal. Uh, have you pulled your team out of Lviv yet? Because today was the day we found out that uh, Russian rockets hit within a... And I don't have the answer to that. A few dozen miles. That's, okay. that's above my pick. That's, and plus <laughs> operational security. We shouldn't talk yeah. about what the plans are. Uh, by the way, over there is Ukraine right behind us. Literally, it's about a third of a kilometer uh, over the border. So for context, if anybody's watching this and wondering where we are. And what's your biggest lesson learned? How long have you been here and what's the biggest So I got, I got to Poland on the 1st. And so pretty much right away, I bought a ticket on the 28th and got a flight that night. I'd lived here before, so it's yeah. not totally alien place to me. Yeah. And, I'm a former chief of staff on Capitol Hill, and we were co-chair of the Ukrainian caucus, and we have one of the largest Ukrainian populations in the United States. So, you know... Wh uh, which representative or which senator? So it was a congressman, Mike Fitzpatrick. Unfortunately, he passed away of cancer okay. a couple years ago. But okay. His brother, Brian, actually, a former FBI agent, is now the member, and he's also co-chair of the Ukrainian caucus, and okay. Has, okay. It was just on the border about a week ago. So, uh, I mean, we've... You know, so so you, I've, you, got, you, I've got some... I've got some... Inside. You know... In, you know, uh, in, you know uh, I have some desire to actually help, and I right. have some skill sets that, that can help. So if somebody wants to help right now, is it uh, giving money to World Central Kitchen? or is it Yeah, I mean, that's always, a, you know, listen, that's, that's always good yep. uh, because we're providing, like I said, hot food. Yep. But I, I would say what we have to think about, I, I talk about it like this, okay? Yep. And this is a great lesson, I think, from a business school perspective, yep. is that anytime you have these kinds of situations, I mean, this is a significant one, obviously, the largest refugee situation since World War II, but anytime you have these situations, Situations. The first three weeks is when you get all your donations and everything. So think about it as a as a mother who has a newborn. I remember my first our first child, right? We got all of these items for a newborn, and at six months we had nothing because everyone bought us all this stuff, and so we had to go out and get it. So it's it's not so much today as two three months from now. What that's where your need the needs are going to be really tremendous. So housing. I mean, we've already identified. My I had a couple of former staffers who joined me for a week. And we've already identified, for example, uh, the need for long-term housing. So we've already identified a nonprofit in the United States where we can send money. We've already got commitments from, from folks, and we're going to be working out this week leases and possibly even Habitat Poland. We're going to be working out long six-month leases that we can then start storing families. Small little bits, but every little bit really helps. So the other observation that you'll find here is... Uh, the, the scene in here. Yeah. The, the big... Um, uh, I'd say that the big international organizations uh, are going to be helpful, but it takes them time to assess and figure out what's going on. So a place like, you know, World Central Kitchen, we've been on the ground really quickly. The Polish people, uh, both through their humanitarian organization, PAH.org.pl. P-A-H. Okay. P-A-H. Yeah, they have been... They have been, at least on the sites that I've been, the border crossings I've been, they've been instrumental in really helping. I know there are other groups uh, here as well, but, yeah. but the big ones like Oxfam, I was talking to them and some German groups, they're just trying to figure out needs, but it's going to take them another couple of weeks to start even you know, moving on some of that. So, uh, so this is what we keep hearing is that the volunteer organizations, the NGOs were here first. The big or eight organizations and governments are actually slower to move. Is that right? Well, I mean, maybe they were here first, but I can't say that I've seen them. Now, they may yeah. be doing big picture stuff, and I'm, yeah. I'm sure they are, and, yeah. uh, and I'm sure what they're doing is, is great. But ultimately, you know, I was or, talking, for example, I talked to Oxfam, yeah. and they couldn't actually act here because they didn't have a partner in Poland yet in order to deal with the Polish law. So, you know, uh, that, that becomes a bigger issue. Fantastic. All right, so thank you for that. So the lessons to share for folks is that in the, uh, the immediate term, might, things might be covered. It's a longer term, the medium term, that could be the... I, I would say that's... And, and, and really, I mean, if you're... I mean, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I've, I've oh. built a number of businesses over the years. And so, you know, you, you've got to identify goals and how you're going to get there. And I'm sure those big groups, that's what they're doing. And they're, and they're going to move the resources. That's great. But ultimately, you know... They might have thought that, okay, this uh, it's under control for now. Let's think about when... But, but understand, I mean, the numbers are Cute. tremendous. I mean, Warsaw and Krakow are pretty much full, right? So, and, and hopefully they can go west, but 
you know, I'm not sure. So how about we wrap up there? Thank you very much okay. for speaking with us. And I'll get your contact info uh, in case anybody wants to find you on LinkedIn. Is that all right? That sounds great. All right, cool.